Hey y'all, Patrick here, and today we're gonna take a look at my absolute favorite instrument of 2021, bar none, not even kidding. And it's a bass, kind of, not really. It's a weird amalgamation of a lot of different things, I feel, and it's just plain fun. This is my crappy guitar, and I absolutely love it. So yeah, it's a crappy bass. Um, what is it? What like what? Where did I get this? Did I find it under a bench? That's actually a really good question. But no, I didn't. So yeah, this is my crappy bass. It's uh amazing <laughs> and it's so fun. So basically, it's a crappy guitar from crappyguitars.com, which is probably my new favorite website to say the least. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. So for the backstory on how I even found this brand, if you wanna call it a brand, I guess, my buddy Chris posted this on Instagram a few months ago and I absolutely lost my mind. The fact that he was holding this thing with one hand, it looks so small, it looks so badass. And it was just really cool Thunderbird design. And I was like, what is this? Where in the hell did you find this? Where did you buy this? I need more information. And so he just sent me over the website and I went into a complete rabbit hole and my God, I came out the other side absolutely floored by what I got. So essentially Crappy Guitars is a brand here in the United States manned by one guy and he makes some of the coolest, most ridiculous, most insane looking instruments I've ever seen. And they're just so unique in so many different ways. When you go to the website and go to the manifesto, this is just like, mwah, I just wanna read it for y'all real quick. Crap Meister Kevin Siebold relays the philosophy that guides our efforts. Our instruments are built for frugal people who aren't very concerned with regard to quality, construction, materials, or safety. The instruments are crafted from whatever we find suitable. Pedigree of wood is not a priority for us. We might get it from a local hardware store or use some old shipping crates or skids. Who knows? If you're intrigued enough to purchase, we'll provide you with a complete history for your instrument the history might be akin to this. Wood, leftover two by four from a construction site. Strings, used about three years ago on an old guitar. Pickups, some bunch of crap we snagged from some guy. Electronics, whatever we can scrounge up. Our warranty, there is no warranty, expressed or implied. We fully acknowledge that our product is crap and your purchase signifies that you have entered into agreement to buy a product that is lacking in quality, contains poor materials and is worthy of much abuse and destruction. We will in no way provide any customer service, so don't even waste your time. And once I saw that manifesto, I was like, all right, I'm in. I want one now. <laughs> so I go through the different galleries of instruments that he has, and I was just like, man, do you order by like what the name of it is? Do you just go ahead and be like, I want this and this? So I kind of just like came up to a point where I was like, uh, I want this like Jaguar style with this more squared off headstock. So I just went ahead, sent him an email and said, hey, this is essentially what I want. I want this and this. I want it to be two strings. Uh, yeah, that's it. He got back to me and just simply said, shipping where? 
I said Austin, Texas, and then he just gave me a price, 178.50, shipping included. Does that sound good? And I was just like, uh, yeah, it absolutely sounds good. I go ahead and pay the man. He says that he got the payment and just simply says, game on. Love the energy, love everything about this. I have no idea what I'm gonna get in store, but I am beyond excited. A few weeks later, he just simply sends me this pick and says, Early days pick, Bloodwood, Granadillo and Maple, Bloodwood body face over white oak, Goncalo olives, fretboard slotted out. And I'm just like, this is already taking shape. Would you look at this thing? So I, I'm already beyond excited for this. Seeing this just puts me over the edge even more. And a few days pass by after that and he simply just sends me a link to one of his Facebook posts and it's my instrument with other instruments that are then ready for sanding and I get even more stoked at this point because it looks like a damn bass now. It looks like an instrument. And also look at the shapes and everything else of the other ones around it too. Doesn't that just like pique your curiosity and just like, all right, this is getting really cool. And then finally, 11 days later, he just simply sends me this picture and that's it. I'm done, I'm beyond ready to see this bass. Oh my God. And he just sends me the UPS tracking number with it as well. A few days later, it arrives. And as you can see from my Patreon exclusive unboxing video, I just go ahead, rip it open. Uh, I was pretty giddy about it. just start playing it and it's so weird but so fun in so many ways it just makes you want to go ahead and write some of the most like doomy riffs that you can make just like super sludge metal riffs because it's such a unique tone now for the initial track i was using both a bass plugin and a guitar plugin and basically just doubling them because using my neural dsp nolly plugin it has a very bass six sound to it where it just sounds super heavy and super deep but more like a guitar. So then adding the Neural DSP Dark Glass plugin on top of that as well for that pure bass low end, just combined, it sounds so good. Like this bass really is something special and I absolutely love it. It's less than $200. It just brings riffs to my head instantly. It's something where you can just grab and take with you because it's so light, but it's also 34 inches. It has a full scale to it, which is just mind blowing. And it goes all the way up to the 24th fret. Now, because it's a crappy guitar, it's not perfect at all. Some of the sanding is a bit rough. Some of the fretwork isn't the greatest, but at the same time, I, it's a called literally a crappy guitar. So, I mean, what was I expecting, right? And it doesn't stay in tune the best either. Because the bridge is pretty much like fully adjustable and not in the way that you're really thinking, it can literally just like pop off if you just want to do that. And the tuners are like just cheap guitar tuners, but they actually do hold tune pretty well, but obviously not the greatest. But yeah, this is my crappy bass, my crappy bass guitar, if you would, and I absolutely love it. It's less than $200, so much fun. Honestly, I'm pretty sure my favorite instrument of the year, just because of how much fun I've had with it so far. As crappy as this bass guitar is, it's not really crappy at all. So much fun, and it actually does play 
really well. And there are a few mods I think I wanna try for the future, like a thumb rest so I'm not playing towards the bridge as much. Then I think something like a single coil in the neck for just something a little different in terms of sound quality, or hell, adding like a fuzz circuit to it so I can have fuzz sounds on board. And then the E string is a 75 gauge and the A string is a 60 gauge. So you're just flying up and down this little tiny thin neck with these two super thin strings having an absolute blast. And it really does have a unique tone to it because you are going through either a bass amp, which has a nice low into it, or you're going through a guitar amp, which adds just a completely different element to it or combining them together, which is so awesome and just so thick too. But of course, let me know what you guys think about my crappy guitar and go through the website and see which ones that you guys like as well. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, liking, following me on social media, all that crazy stuff. And of course, a humongous thank you again to my Patreon supporters right here. Just look at them. If you wanna be like one of these beautiful people and help support the channel every single month, be included in things like giveaways, early access to videos and more, then go ahead and check out my Patreon page. But y'all, again, thank you so much for watching as always. And of course, no matter where in the world you are, stay safe, practice that crappy bass, and I'll see y'all next time.